Welcome back. Before we go tonight, it's time for a round of Ask Ellen. This one comes from Faith. She sent in this photo of her backyard in coral, catching something that was actually falling from the sky. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Ellen, what is it? What is it? And I actually get this question quite a bit because airplane contrails or clouds that form in the wake of airplanes can look so different depending on how the airplane is flying. So what you're seeing here streaming out of the sky that looks like a comet in that picture is actually just an airplane contrail that was hit by the light in a certain way as likely the plane was flying away from her location. So let's just talk about airplane contrails really quickly and how they form because we get this question quite a bit too. Believe it or not, it's really similar to just what happens in the back of your car on a cold day. When you start the car, you get a cloud that forms, right? Because you have exhaust fumes. You also have very hot humid air colliding with colder air. So when you see this setup with some exhaust from an airplane, the same thing happens. We need low vapor pressure air, and it mixes with the hot humid air and a little bit of the particulate matter that comes out from an exhaust from the airplane. So when this happens, boom, you get an insta cloud basically, and then it can change depending on what the wind is doing. So sometimes you'll see contrails that are uh, stretched out and thin. Some will dissipate from time to time. Some will cut in and out depending on what kind of saturated air it's moving through. And so the typical type of contrail we see is formed from the exhaust. Again, just like the exhaust from your car. That's all it is. There's also a secondary uh, kind of cool contrail that can form from time to time. Love this. They form on the wingtips just via turbulence and mixing. I've seen this a couple of times, Lens, and it's so cool. You can sometimes see it at takeoff and landing. So cool. So cool. <laughs> it is the best. Contrails are neat. Love it. Ellen, thank you. We also have a note for teachers tonight. Specifically, we're putting out the call to you. If your students have questions about the weather, please send them our way. It's even better if you can send us a video of some cute kids asking the question. That email is the 7on8 at woodtv.com.